close your eyes and get in touch with your breath. When the breath comes in, know it's coming in. When it goes out, know it's going out. Notice where you feel the breathing. Focus your attention there. Watch it for a while and see if it feels comfortable. If it does feel comfortable, keep up this, this rhythm. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can change. Or you may want to experiment to see if a different kind of breathing would feel better. Longer, shorter, faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow. Get in touch with what feels right right now. In other words, you're not just on the receiving end of this. You're, you're adding something to your experience. You can make some choices about how you breathe, and the way you breathe is going to have an impact on your mood, and your mood will have an impact on how you think. So you begin to see the connections. You're not just on the receiving end of life. You're active in finding out about the world. In fact, if you weren't active, you wouldn't know anything about the world at all. You'd just be a passive plant receiving impulses, not really knowing much. But here we're all active. The problem is when our actions are not necessarily all that skillful. It's when they're not skillful that we suffer. As the Buddha said, there are two kinds of suffering or stress in the world. They're the kind that's just there because things are changing and dependent on conditions. Can't much be done about that, but it turns out that that's not the suffering that weighs down the mind. The suffering that weighs down the mind is the one you create through the lack of skill in which you, in which you look at things and listen and think. So you want to get more sensitive to that. They've done studies that show people don't really know what's going on in their own minds. Decisions get made and they don't know until later. And if you ask them, they might be able to make up a reason for why they made a decision, but you're never really sure, because they're not paying attention to what they're doing there. Many of these things go on automatic pilot. This is why we have to stop and meditate to see when the mind makes a choice. Why is it making a choice? When is it making the choice? Who's making the choice inside? Is it a good choice? We have the right to change. If we couldn't change, then there'd be no, no purpose in meditating. But we can change. We can get more sensitive to what we're doing, how we're having an impact on the world. Now the world we experience is not just coming at us, we're going out there for it and shaping it as we go out there. So try to get in touch with the breath, because it's one of the ways in which the mind most immediately shapes the body. And it's the element of the body that has the most immediate impact on the mind. This is the thoroughfare right here, between the two. So if we're positioned right here, we get to see the mind, we get to see the body, we gain to understand how we can act in ways that are more skillful, create less suffering for ourselves and others. And that way, by training your mind, the people around you benefit as well, as you benefit because you're more clearly right here. 